What's up, y'all? To be your boy, that boy, that boy, checking in. Back, I'm back, I'm back. Want to talk to y'all a little bit, you know? A little bit about, you know, talk a little bit about Megan Thee Stallion, man, you know? Get back with y'all on that tip, man, you know? Um, Megan Thee Stallion is making it seem like it's a woman against a man thing, you know? Uh... A lot of shit going on now. There's a lot of beef starting to crank up a little bit. You know, Jay Prince, them boys, you know, they don't like the way how she took it. You know, how she you going about the, you know, how she going about it. So, you know, but she did go to court. The judge did say she can drop her music, blah, blah, squad. That's how you know them people tied in. Jay Z, them, man. You know what I'm saying? They down with the judges and all, man. What? person that signs a contract could actually do what they want to do after you don't sign it in black and white see what i'm saying so you know making a stallion she's making it seem like it's more about a man against a woman because she basically said on her ig if it, you know on her ig live when she was first breaking the down about the situation about a couple of days last week she was like you know i'm not just gonna let two guys bully me so, you know, that's like a man like a man against a woman thing. Got all these women on her page with the blue checks, falling up like la la, different celebrities and women, period. You know, with that Willie Lynn syndrome thing. That's why I be telling y'all, man, it's like they attacking us in so many ways, man. We done lost control of our women, period, bro. We done really lost control of our women, period, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's bad, man, because... You know, we used to have some type of structure now, but it's like women don't give a fuck about men and men don't give a fuck about women in some areas, you know what I'm saying? But it's mainly women now, you know. It's like they got their guards up, you know. They feel like, you know, and the first thing, you know, those other people going to do is say, oh, it's the black man. The black man always bullying and you know, just poison in the brain, man, and poison in the mind of the other young sisters and other, you know, because she was getting 40, 50, 40, I guess it's out of 100, she was getting 40, they was getting 60. I understand the deal is kind of rough and tough, but you got to understand you was not nobody before, the, you know, you got with these guys. Crawford, I know he's a baseball player. I don't know the other two guys. All I know this is a 15-1-0 record, but I know one thing about I know Jay Prince is in it, you know, because he's a part of them. But other than that, you know, I don't know if she'll be blackball. I don't know how good Sugar going to do. I think it dropped today. Um, you know, but the whole concept is just, just keep it about the music, not against, you know, men against women and you saying that, you know, the men are bullying you. But so what happened with all the time before you got with Jay-Z them? You understand what I'm saying? That, but I'm confused. That, you know what I'm saying? Because if you felt like that way, you should have been and did all this here. You know what I'm saying? But soon you get with Jigger them. You know what I'm saying? Now you on something totally different. So that's definitely a situation there, you know, that uh, I just feel like, you know, she's pushing the agenda, man. You know what I'm saying? On the low, low, that culture vulture in the air, that Lauren guy. Um, so many, you know, different hands is in the pot, you know, different hands is in the pot. But now you finna take your hands out. To me personally, I feel like yeah, I know Jay Z. Jay Z them was just you know puppets for the Rock Nation. The motherfuckers don't run Rock Nation, man. Them Jews or them fake Jews, whoever them white people will, they run Rock Nation, and they want uh, making the stallion. They want to take up from that black, um, black you know record company. You know what I'm saying? It's a small company, not a big company. But with with an artist like her and keep booming and doing, you know, grabbing more artists, you can blow up. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're supposed to have our own, you know, record labels and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But this is a bad seed right now. That's what I'm saying. Because it's bad on the 1501 record label, whatever it is. You know, whatever it is, 1501, something like that. But at the same time, it's like a black against black. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh... Oh, she's saying like, oh, I'm not going to let two guys bully me and then all the women jumping in. You know what I'm saying? 
women supposed to stand up for themselves. I respect that 1,000. But don't make it seem like, you know, the man them been muscling you all this time, man, because you was down with them boys. So, you know, it's like she got some big shit going on right now and pretty much another distraction, you ask me, but. Well, yeah, I'm a fan of their music like that. City girls and making a stand because they not promoting nothing good for the youth. You understand? For the young the young sisters. You promoting thought and thoughtness and hot girl summer and all this bull crap, man. Doctors, lawyers, judges. You know what I'm saying? Things like that, but they ain't on that. You know, just popping the ad, popping the booty. You know what I'm saying? That's why the women feel so up right now. And they really not because of the simple fact they get all this created energy from this bull crap. You know what I'm saying? So, how do y'all, this be your boy, that boy, that boy. I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about making a stallion. That'll be my second video on making a stallion. Y'all guys tell me how y'all feel about making a style. Is she's with the shits or she's, do you think she's wrong what she have done? Or you think she's right for what she has done, what she has done between the 1501 records and Rock Nation? Did she jump ship? Did they tell her they're going to give her more money because whatever was in the contract they had to, to point it out to her, and then she responded and wanted to. And I guess they told her, you need to go back and renegotiate your contract. And that's what she tried to do. And she said, all the shit hit the fan now. So I guess she tried to say Jay Prince didn't want to, you know, to renegotiate the contract with the guy. They didn't want to renegotiate the contract. So she's saying in so many words, it's like he tried to manipulate, manipulate her or make her slightly like force them to sign a contract or stay into a contract and she's not having it so that's what she's saying so many words you know what i'm saying she ready to jump ship you know she ready to get with rock nation fuck j prince fuck 1501 fuck who helped me got on that's what it sounds like to me bro and she want to make it seem like a man against a woman thing but that's not the that's not the that's not it so you know y'all get at me let me know how y'all feel about that, my, about my commentary on this here. And um, definitely hit the like button. Check my last video. Subscribe to Kid. Salute, man. Enjoy your weekend. Friday nights. Friday night lights. I understand what it is, what it is. But fuck with me. Let me know what it do. I mean, fuck with me. Let me know what it do, what it does, though, man. Is Megan Stallion out of pocket? Or you feel like she's doing the right things by standing up for herself? Or you feel like she's creating a maybe South against East Coast. We don't know. But only time will tell, man. It'll be your boy, that boy, that boy. Check my live video. Subscribe to the kid. Holler at me. Let me know how y'all feel about making a stallion, man. Salute. I'm out.